In this video, we're going to look at a copy and paste in Excel. I put over here copy and paste. Why the big deal? And the big deal is because unlike PowerPoint, Word, uh, OneNote, when you're talking about copy and paste in Excel, that, that really doesn't mean the same thing because you have so many different options in terms of how you paste stuff. And it's important to understand the difference to know what you're actually going to get when you do it. To give you an idea of this, we're just going to take these names right here and we'll copy these. So we'll go over here to sheet one and what we're going to do is we're just going to copy and we're just going to paste. So you'll notice what it does. When we copy and paste it, it gave us the names and it all, but it also gave us the formatting for this. But at the same time, we could come down here and if we choose paste with one, two, three, which is values, you'll see now we just get actually what's in the cells as opposed to the formatting. So right away, you can see a difference between paste and then paste with values. And that's one of the things you want to kind of understand right away is that there is a definite difference between copy and paste and opposed to copy and paste with values. And this is in particular when we're talking about formulas. So you can tell here I've got these two. Now one of the things we're going to do is come over here. And so we've got these formulas. Now these formulas of course are doing the percents here because what we're doing is we're just dividing this number by this number. So we'll copy these. Now when we come over here, if we just paste, we'll get an error right away. Because what's happening is, is we don't have any of this available to us. What we could do is paste special. And then that gives us the numbers themselves as opposed to giving us the formulas. So a lot of times when we are in Excel, one of the things that we end up doing is that we use when we're talking about value, when we're talking about formulas, we're going to copy and then we're going to paste the values of those formulas. That's going to be one of the most common things we end up doing. The most common application would be something of this nature. So one of the things we're going to look at next week is a formula called concatenate. So I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to cantonate this. And I'm just going to do this and I'm just going to go like this and do that. So and we'll learn more about this formula, but to give you an idea, so here's a formula that we have, and I can just drag this down real quick. So here's this formula. Now there's a problem here though. If I delete these two columns, I get an error because this is a formula. Now what I want to do though is I want to take this and I want to copy it and then I want to paste just the values. So this is what I did here is I pasted the values. So now when I delete these, these stay. And so that's one of the common things you see is when you're using Excels, when you're copying and pasting, is you want to look at how you're, what you're going to copy and paste and, the, and the, the concept behind it. So pasting, for example, text like we did here, which we copied these names and we just pasted them to here, no real big deal. It's the difference of whether or not we want the formatting. Now, another issue with that is when we talk about formulas, is we want to make sure whenever we're copying the formulas that we, that we paste as values because we're asking for the text. Otherwise, we should probably just rewrite the formula. Now, what we can do is we can copy this, and we can come over here, and you'll notice we can paste the formula. So here's the formula, B1 and B6. Now, what I could do here is if I put that information in, you'll see B1 divided by B6. So I'm going to pull this down. So I've got a reference here because it's not seeing that. So I'm just going to put, let's say, 20. And you'll notice the formula, it actually worked. So the formula just kept over. But it only worked, of course, because the information on this page was the same as the other one. So in that respect, if what we could do is if I copied like this, if I said copy, and I came over here, and I did paste, everything would come over and work. Everything would stay the same. I could also paste special, and now when I did that, of course, all I got was the text itself. So you can see that difference between paste and then paste with values. Now, one of my favorite, though, is this one here, transpose. So 
what we're going to do, I'm going to copy these names. Now transpose allows me to take something that's vertical and to paste it horizontal or to take something that's horizontal and paste it vertical. So when we go to transpose right here, you'll see, you'll see which one this is. So it's on the clipboard there and we click here. Now all of a sudden those names that were vertical, they're now horizontal. And so that's one of the nice kind of cool formulas is anytime you have something that you're looking at that is in a, in a vertical in, in columns and you want it to become in rows, you can copy it and then you can paste it like this and transpose it and it will f switch it for you. So that's a very handy little feature to have. And you'll notice, of course, that keeps the formatting. And you can also, right here with formatting, like if we copy this, we can come over here and right click again and you'll see we've got some other options. So we can go to Paste Special and you'll see Keep Source Width. So we could actually, here, we can keep the column width. We can keep the source formatting. So like on this one, you see the clipboard with the, the paintbrush here. If we click that, now it maintains all of that formatting that's in there, including the different coloring. But if we come here, pay special, we go down here to do the widths. You can see the different ones, values, values. You can see this one, of course, paste the width. Now it actually pastes the formatting, but it also includes the widths that we had them set at. So you can see here, we go into it, and it pastes the width. And so it maintains that scaled formatting. So there's a lot of different ways you can use copy and paste in Excel. Probably the biggest things that you need to remember, transpose is fantastic for when you want to switch, but copy and paste versus copy and paste values. Anytime you are copying data that's from a formula, you want to paste as values so that you actually get the numbers because otherwise you're going to get an error. And then whenever you want to just get the values of in the cell but not the formatting, you want to paste as values. And so it's really easy to remember when we come over here and we copy these, that if we just paste, we end up with an error. But if we paste with values, we end up with the actual information. So you can see how that works as I just go along and paste. Now here, you'll notice it didn't even pick it up because this one has been formatted. So what we see here is that whenever we're copying, we want to use copy and we want to paste from formulas, we want to paste with the values so that way we get the numbers themselves. So that should help you out in learning a little bit more about copy and paste.